Hey everyone, welcome to She's Good. Hello. Hey people, friends. People of the world. Um, my name is Julia. I'm Mary Beth. I'm Katie. And we are She's Good, a podcast about learning about and supporting women's sports. Uh, maybe that's yes. the tagline. <laughs> that's it, it. Time, huh? that's it in a nutshell baby that's it in a nutshell we're happy to be back um after the last thing we did was uh 2020 highlights and we're swiftly Reading. into 2021 where there's so many things happening right now yeah, yeah. lots of winter sports happening yeah yep lots of winter sports happening maybe not the olympics of 2021 <laughs> conflicting reports <laughs> i don't need yeah. to spread more rumors Let's be there's enough yeah but there was a rumor that japan privately decided the olympics were already canceled and then japan was like no we didn't yeah but i think it was like no yeah so i think it was like the country of japan was like we're not gonna have the olympics and then like the tokyo planning committee was like yes we are and then <laughs> the like the overall like international olympics committee was like uh you better because we'll lose a billion dollars oh, and then oh, wow. they're then everyone's like we're doing it and that's the last i've heard but like they probably won't Capitalism. which makes me want to know who was the leak i don't know and also yeah. when are they going to announce that they're not doing it i know <laughs> <laughs> and like while i know objectively that like it's it's they should be canceled um so like mentally I'm just waiting for them and like, you know, like it's going to get me through. Happen. I do for my own mental health, but Look, this is just... something where I'm like, if people in who have the power, who have power can wield that power. And like, you know, you can give people testing and, you know, at the expense of the general population, <laughs> I'll do it for the Olympics. <laughs> it's a horrible capitalist um uh activity that we do but i will never not love the olympics Agreed. yeah there is um, something so magical about it and honestly yes. when it's like the only time like once every four years that's some of the only time that some of these sports are like broadcast on television like mm -hmm. how am i supposed to watch some of this shit yeah. like yeah. horse dressage <laughs> like <laughs> That's definitely. I yeah. can't go to my local stable and watch it. I need it on. Um, <laughs> right? Yeah, it kicks me out. Pandemic. <laughs> they called the cops on me. <laughs> I feel like if they can, like, just do, like, the world's most complicated bubble situation and then, like, somehow get. I mean, like, there's rules about who can be vaccinated and stuff, but, like, yeah. I feel like they're going to all be secretly getting the athletes vaccinated before right. it's their time exactly. anyway which also like i'm not that mad about that because like look how much that has helped us get <laughs> yes. through i mean <laughs> as long as like it's not if it's at the expense of like normal people like me that's fine but if it's at the expense like, of like the, the elderly or essential right, right. workers or something yes then we yes need i to agree talk. with that but like also we're getting to the point where like essential workers and elderly are right now getting vaccinated at least mm -hmm. in michigan yeah. so like two months down the line i feel like we're going to be closer to, to yeah yeah <laughs> i wonder if they're worried about like all the like athletes like banging in the olympic village that could, <laughs> that's no. the concern <laughs> that could spread that could spread it well it certainly could be then rules. you have yeah then they just can't compete in the olympics which they would not like so that's true Although, didn't we hear on what's her name's podcast that like that's sort of a myth yeah, I don't. Yeah, I heard it from somewhere that it's not. It was that like Kelly O'Hara. I feel like talking about it. They're I like, know. I guess I don't know. I think so much. I mean, I honestly, I, th there <laughs> has to be so much sex going on. But they were maybe like, it's like of all the people that just like they're like they are just like one and done versus like yeah, Kelly, you're like playing soccer the whole time, so probably at, you like know, not in the time. Yeah, but like maybe like the <laughs> archers have time or like. <laughs> the horse dancers you know <laughs> the horse yeah. dancers danced their horse day one and then they got two weeks exactly it also really may have been adam ripon or ripon how do you say it ripon i think ripon because he was on Les love he says, and of course they were talking about it and he was like basically like yeah maybe like the horny like 18 year olds but <laughs> right. but 
everyone else, it's like, we have roommates. Where are you <laughs> doing this? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, I but just I love, like, whatever, whoever started that rumor, I just think that's amazing. It's a great rumor. If it's a, indeed a rumor, mm-hmm. it's It really, really is fun. just a worldwide myth. If Yeah, it's like... I bet you the damn Greeks back in the day. The Greeks just thought I bet you the Greeks were banging away. (laughs) That's where it started. And then. Yeah. 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 Uh, Totally. Anyway, Uh, fingers crossed for the Olympics, as though we won't just have an Olympics six months later, the Winter Olympics. But I do love the Summer Olympics. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like my sadness of not having the summer would be like no gymnastics, (laughs) no chance for the women's soccer team to get a gold. Right. Yeah. No, a beach volleyball. Gotta mm. love it. And also, the we were talking about this too, and Julia was pointing out the extreme difficulties in just moving a gigantic Olympic-sized event. But what? I don't understand why we can't just postpone it until like one more year. What's the difference between having like Two six months? In a year. Yeah, yeah. Versus you're gonna plan- be planning it anyway. Yeah. Right. Oh, I never I changed my name. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to J- subtle shout out to I James. Go, I'll change it. <laughs> Julia, I know Mary up. Beth. I know. <laughs> Julia's oh, name know. was not Julia for those who are just listening. Yeah, James and I share a Zoom account. What do you freaking want from us? Oh, no. I'm not yelling at you guys. I'm yelling at the <laughs> listeners who are seriously getting so pissed at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> listeners, not even the viewers who would be the ones seeing this. That notice. Yeah. No, the listeners are pissed because we keep talking talking? about things that they can't (laughs) see. So they are pissed. Okay. Like my new Christmas tree in the background. Yeah. Everyone can see it. Please note. Please note. It's real. It is real. (laughs) It's 100% pine birch wood. It is. Um, Yeah. But there is some, like, separate from the Olympics, I just was checking my email and I subscribed to this newsletter called, um, shit, I'm forgetting the name it's called i'm just gonna look because oh it's called the next it's a women's basketball newsletter and it's Mm -hmm. awesome um and i love it but in my inbox there was just a couple like WNBA um free agent like rumors um that i wanted to share this is news to you too because you did not see these emails i literally just saw katie knows we do not subscribe to the newsletter (laughs) don't subscribe this is the first i'm hearing of it i'd recommend it it's really good it's it's great is it free Um, katie there is a free option, but you can pay to subscribe as well. Okay, which um, I, I am sure. currently doing the free option because I'm subscribed to another one. But okay, so first of all, Chelsea Gray from the LA Sparks oh, yeah. is rumored to possibly be. She's in talks with Las Vegas Aces. Ooh, she's okay. a point guard. Okay, Chelsea, Hell that yeah. could be interesting. Like her. Um, she's funny. Like her. Mm-hmm, she, mm-hmm. she made me laugh on the Instagram. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's great. Mm-hmm. Um, Cheyenne Parker, who is with the Chicago Sky, mm-hmm. she is rumored to be having conversations with the Atlanta Dream. Ooh. Kennedy Carter. Ooh, Uh-oh. which let's not forget about the, the Dream gossip also. Remind me about that when we're done with this. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And then this is the big one. Candace Parker. <gasps> oh, man. Don't say it. Rumored to be in talks with the Chicago Sky. Whoa. Wow. Okay. If yeah. anywhere, I would be, I would say, go for it, Candace. But wait, that's crazy to me. Yeah. She seems so, she seems like diehard sparks, LA sparks to me. You know well, what? it seems like she doesn't have the best relationship with the coach, that current coach. Wow. Like he, I don't know. He, he doesn't seem to know what he has with her. Mm-hmm. And like, she really... was just defensive player of the year, was she not? Yeah. Am I wrong about that? <laughs> yeah. And so it's just a little <laughs> odd. Um, yeah. But because she doesn't, so start. I think doesn't she not start? Or she's a. It, there's a lot of like weird shit. Like, okay. yeah, it's just a like it's Candace Parker. Play her. Like, yeah. yeah. But so he was just actually like I think signed to like a four year deal. So I don't know if she wants to put up with that again. Yeah. Um, and well, she's actually originally from Naperville, Illinois. Oh, Naperville. The newsletter. A uh, big old burb right outside there. I have a lot of friends I think from I Naperville. A soccer tournament there. Wait, so she, maybe not. You probably did. It seems like a place. This is going to be like, honey. No, you didn't. Honey. I bet you did. <laughs> or, or she'll be like, yes, you did. You did, honey. <laughs> yeah, but so she has ties to that area, so that would be really interesting. I don't know. I feel like she deserves to. I feel like be valued for what she. Yeah. Cool. 
Yeah. Little you know what? Place for her. I am a fan of Sh- the Chicago Sky, which is directly contradictory to everything I've ever said about why I refuse to be a fan of the Red Stars, <laughs> which is because they're in Chicago. And I can, so I like have no reason. <laughs> For some reason, they feel different than the Red Stars. It's I don't like know. The they don't feel like Chicago. Like, <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> Sorry, I have, Chicago. I just have like... a lot of friends from Chicago. <laughs> I have thought about recently just like picking up and moving to Chicago because they have a WNBA oh. team and an uh and wsl team i like that place Good. but Honestly, there's something that there's something about the Good red job. stars that makes me relate it to like all of like the super douchey chicago people i knew versus the the chicago sky making me think of all of the cool chicago people i knew does that oh, make sense like the what like the chill people um i don't know what it is it could very much just be that the Red Stars are a direct reference to the Chicago flag and everybody that I know, all, everyone that I know in Chicago is so mad at me right now. If they, if they were a little over the top about their love of Chicago, they had like that flag it. hanging up in their apartment four different times. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I, like that. I do love the flag. Wait, hold, I think it's like on. Cubs fan energy. Yeah. Did you get new glasses, Julia? These are Those my look like blue the same light glasses. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I love them. The better to protect my eyes. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you so much, Sunny Optical. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out. Um, sorry, sorry. I didn't no, mean to interrupt no. that. No, no. Thanks for thanks for noticing. Okay, what was your dream, um, gas? Your hot gas about the dream? Oh, it seems like uh, Kelly Leffler is selling her share in the team correct we've heard that there's like five different people interested in investing which like go back and listen if he if you don't know what's going on but she was the um (laughs) senator she lost because of the WNBA specifically I feel um calling her out and representing Warnock she lost her seat in the senate and they wanted her to sell when was that in the bubble she wouldn't do it yeah, they were like, now sell us, it. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's happening. So now she's not a senator, not a WNBA team owner. Well, soon she's... to be not a WNBA team owner. But she is still incredibly rich because she sold off a she bunch is... of stock right before Corona. She is yeah. just fine. Which is because, one of the yes. reasons that she's <laughs> She did do some insider worst. training and she's well off. And she's not in <laughs> okay. prison. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but also prison should be abolished. Fine. It's really complicated. I have a lot of complicated <laughs> feelings. Yeah, I mean, uh, like girl boss, like girl power, like absolutely. But <laughs> like, be fine no, I quietly. Said, I said prison. Prison should be abolished. Oh. And then I was like, she should go to prison. <laughs> no, my co- my feelings are not complicated about her like being a girl boss. Katie's Katie's feelings about prison are my feelings about my conflicting views of if I like Chicago or not Chicago team specifically (laughs) my feeling is that the prison industrial complex is a scourge on society and we should abolish it but my feeling is also that Kelly Loeffler should be in prison so people like her should be in prison prisons are for people prisons are for people like her prisons are for people that I personally find distasteful (laughs) so yeah exactly yeah oh god but like truly though like girl like girl boss though (laughs) stay free you know oh my god like let's move on but also the fucking people i'm sorry i've sworn so many times already maybe it wasn't you it was it was it was james (laughs) (laughs) yeah i know my name is not correct um the people who are like amy coney barrett it's it's anti-feminist to uh to dislike her or whatever or if like you think she shouldn't if you think she shouldn't have like uh gotten confirmed or whatever or if you criticize her in any way yeah and it's like i don't know that you know what that means or maybe we need to define what a feminist is i think they need to like dig a little hole with their girl boss shovels Mm -hmm. and like jump in with their herstory and then put the dirt (laughs) on top of themselves and just die it's the same people that are like turfy, like trans women aren't women. And it's like, fuck you. That's how I feel. Oh, you're allowed Fine to dislike women if they fully deserve it. 
I just like most women. I also <laughs> feel that they deserve I will rights. say that Katie does dislike most women. Yeah. <laughs> no, she but I, I just like people, but yes, I just but like more men them than women. Equal. Yeah. <laughs> but but I a do lot of women that. are truly awful. Yeah. And I, I stand do. by that statement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and that's not anti-feminist is the I deserve, thing you yeah. can <laughs> I deserve I think not that liking <laughs> women. <laughs> Amy Goney Barrett deserves to be treated the same way that I treat Brett Kavanaugh. Exactly. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> which is rudely. like poop in a bag, put it on their porch and set it on fire. <laughs> Hit them with a the skateboard. <laughs> Honestly, don't tweet that you want oh, man. think that a Republican should be hit in the face with a skateboard because you will get suspended from Twitter. <laughs> you will get suspended. It happened to one of it us. It has happened to me. And I it was Mike Huckabee. <laughs> so oh, anyway, oh. moving on. Moving Speaking on. of, well, his daughter is running for governor of Arkansas, which I believe she has the right to do, but I don't think that I'd like her to win. <laughs> she absolutely <laughs> and has I can the still right be to a it. feminist. <laughs> It's not anti-feminist to not want her to win, okay? So if you live in Arkansas, please do the right thing. Oh, it is Arkansas. anti never know where it is on the map. Never know. It's below Missouri. That's like the, pants, my, of the, pers- it's the pants of the Midwest person. I always, okay. I always think of, like, this really funny vine that's like, like, this is... Kansas. Why is this not our Kansas? It's <laughs> Arkansas. What is Arkansas? It's amazing. Oh my god, that's so true. Man, I'll said, find it to you and I'll send it to you. Man. I always think about this scene from Roseanne <laughs> where they ask Crystal why she has an accent when nobody else has an accent. She's like, my father was from Arkansas. And that's just it. <laughs> <laughs> um, You know I've not seen Roseanne, so well, I apologize. You know that I not, haven't for not getting that reference. You know that it's one of my very favorite shows. So. But Let's I did watch the scene Roseanne. that you sent me. And it was funny, oh, right? And it was. It was, it amazing. was funny. It was funny. I love yeah. it. 80s that Roseanne was Amy Sherman Palladino. Good. She did. I assume Amy Sherman became Amy Sherman Palladino because I do believe she wrote for Roseanne. And if yeah. that's the case, she did write that episode. Totally. And I've been watching Gilmore Girls, which is where that whole thing started. We're just letting everybody in okay. into a deep dive of our minds. And I feel like <laughs> 10 times faster than we normally speak. So I it's hope everyone just like slows down our recorded. Yeah. <laughs> Please slow down yes. your playback speed if you feel we're or speed it up or, yeah you can skip <laughs> just before we before we dive into something else julia who do you find to be the most annoying gilmore girls character i thought oh, you were gonna say of tough. me or katie <laughs> <laughs> no i already know that answer it's me no i, I think be the most both equal in equally annoying. annoying which is not at all <laughs> oh i can be annoying i feel it's all right to say it no neither of you are it's not anti-feminist to say it's it's anti-feminist <laughs> to say women are annoying <laughs> <laughs> so we're all three are literally perfect oh, if you don't everyone. think so you're okay. not a feminist that's true if you criticize me in any way you're not a feminist <laughs> okay so i think they all annoy me at different times i think it was lorelei um for a second there but, but then now- you met dean right <laughs> dean yeah dean they give they do not give these which okay one of the funny things I think about this show is like, this is not my thought. This is a James thought and it. I'm just confirming it. Is that like the men are not interesting on this show. <laughs> no not. one is, has anything to them. Even Jess, they, so now is the nephew of Luke. It, uh, we've got him around now. And, and he, his thing is he gets into fights, but also reads and we were talking about it like but why what right. what's driving these male characters nothing uh, the one i like kind of i love um uh, michelle i, I knew was just you were gonna, gonna say, say michelle that. and michelle <laughs> is interesting especially when you get deeper into his relationship with his dogs Ooh, um okay. i think I is, oh my god i forgot about his it's dogs. gonna you're gonna be obsessed with it yeah <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> I, I do think that like Papa everyone... and something else. Chin Chin. Chin Chin and Papa. <laughs> oh, ch- oh. I okay. I love I, I love, love that those a lot. Dogs. Um God, I I was mad that they wrote Chad Michael Murray off, but maybe he got he one had to go beyond one yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that exactly what happened. Was? Yeah. Just like when Adam Bro- Never mind. I don't know if oh. you've gotten there yet. No, no, 
I'll just stop. <laughs> oh, is Adam Bro- Adam Brody? La 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 la. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> most Ooh. annoying. Most annoying. I think. Um. Also, I think Rory sometimes has this baby talk that I'm like, why do you do that? And I think Alexis Bledel is a great actor. I really like her, but also, why? Why does Rory seem like eight sometimes? Well, yeah. I feel like in the defense of those two actors those characters are written to be annoying they're, are written you are like, right they're yeah. just You're fulfilling so right. the prophecy of right those characters i will say that lauren graham <clears throat> is to me perfect in that role i think she's one of the best actors on that show we were we were talking last night about who we think is like the best actor she is she's great yeah great. she is good she's so good um but those characters, you are right, are supposed to be annoying. You're, you're totally right. I do feel that's a theme through Amy Sherman Palladino shows that the main okay. character. Well, no, I disagree with my own statement because I do like Bunheads. Bunheads. Yeah, yeah, that well, character. Bunheads, What's her yeah, name? Uh, her name is. Mm, I just watched this a couple Sutton months Foster. ago. Yeah. Oh, What's her, her I don't name? Remember. I just watched. I literally just watched. Michelle. It. Oh, of course. <laughs> it is Michelle. <laughs> um bunheads is good i do enjoy bunheads but the parts of it you can tell um we're very much filmed like there is some there's some stuff that doesn't hold up that would is a little bit offensive um as is there in gilmore girls yeah yeah oh yeah. totally there's so there's it, it's like wow well, this is very much it's like oh yeah <laughs> yeah right the last thing i'll say on it is like what kind of makes me annoyed about lorelei is like her relationships with men like her and max's relationship is so stupid it's over (laughs) now but (laughs) man i will say dumbest thing i've ever seen in my life i do not like either of the two main gilmore girls (laughs) that's so funny i do like i do do. like uh in the the year in the life or whatever i like rory better than when she is flawed gotcha i think if you ever watch that which most people hate her in yeah, that. and I, I like I like her a lot more. I'm so interested. I like the characters in the sense that like <laughs> they are entertaining. They do some yeah. stupid shit that you're like, <laughs> what? What is this show? Totally. I'm into Gilmore Girls for the secondary characters. Yeah, Paris being Patty, my favorite. Paris. I do love Babette, so and Babette. Babette's like weird house that they never reference. Oh, wait, Babette. Wait, who's she's that? your neighbor? So the neighbor. She's their neighbor. I yeah. love the neighbor. <laughs> She she's the neighbor freaking gets me and uh in her house i don't know if you've seen any episodes inside her house but they're all like the door the house is made for like like the doorways are all like three feet tall but and her, her husband, husband is... is so tall <laughs> and they oh. never talk about it they did never you see the, it. did you see the donna reed episode the donna reed show episode julia uh, okay i think that's in season one that you'll see her house oh, in that. wait we yeah. finished that what's oh. what is it the one where, where she, she like where... puts on the apron for dean Oh my God! Totally, it's real gross. Yeah, that's Babette's house. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I have seen. I have. There will be the some house. more. There will be some more scenes yeah, inside of Babette's sick. house, and like, cat. Take a note. Cat. Take a note of like the doorways and the countertops. <laughs> Just be like, why is she living in this house in her house? This man has to be so tall. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Okay, sorry um, for the Oh digression. man, the 20 minute tangent about Gilmore Girls. If you don't yeah. want to hear Gilmore Girls, just skip ahead to this point right here. Skip. Yeah, You'll to know this know point now. right just here, we're like, now. I don't know. We're sometime into it. Sometime into the <laughs> also, <laughs> This is not going to help them. <laughs> oh, I know. Because it's after. <laughs> I know, but my brain didn't get there. <laughs> if we help. Well, no, no, no. Oh, I think th- I think the um, context of Gilmore Girls is important to understand before we talk about um the nwhl which is happening right now uh, very, which is- mm-hmm. very relevant <laughs> well okay, it um, is because lorelei really likes snow she likes ice she does like snow that's, that's, a that's, that's, a, that's gonna be where we how we tie it in here yes connecticut well <clears throat> first thing i want to talk about national women's hockey league is r- real quick before we get in a, into anything the names of these teams are pretty classic <laughs> amazing Connecticut is there are the ones who are whale the yeah, whale the, the one whale. singular the Connecticut one singular whale yeah and I, I would wonder, like to think I that, if that they're trying Luke to would go watch them he probably has a hat yeah I do wonder like if they're trying to do a pun of like whaling on the other team 
but like they spell it like a whale because of whales or if they just like are into one specific whale i don't know maybe i'll write a note to hockey hq is like moby dick like oh. is he related to connecticut in any way i know that's a book written by somebody I think is it part Dickens? Of the problem is we had the whalers back in michigan mm. and it's yeah. like but i do love the name the connecticut whale me too the me whale too. I, I that i i texted you guys this weekend like i had already said you know i'm s- supporting the toronto six because spiritually they feel connected to michigan yeah and then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I'm also going to support the Connecticut Whale because their name is hilarious. Absolutely. I am a fan of supporting more than one team or even all the teams. Oh, sometimes you all, and all your teams. Sometimes all but one, which feels vindictive. <laughs> 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 but I do it. I am who I am. So what what are the other teams? Um, Minnesota Whitecaps. The what, Metropolitan like that, Riveters. We've got the, we've got the um, Whitecaps team the baseball team in um it's men's keep moving on um <laughs> the <laughs> the buffalo, riveters right buffalo buttes, is, oh, the the buttes. Buttes. yeah buffalo buttes the only yes. one i know is the riveters yep the metropolitan riveters metropolitan um, riveters for sure is there a boston, boston pride boston pride okay i think that's all of them toronto furies toronto Good. six as toronto's Calgary like, like a new team now uh i don't know are you reading old teams oh yeah probably because <laughs> there's only the six know. right now um okay. yeah toronto just joined this this year it's their inaugural season oh, so fun. okay did they choose the six because they're the sixth that's what i th- have oh, seems surmised. not creative sorry toronto hey maybe all like- of the cities all of the cities surrounding detroit within five hours to be detroit all their stands are coming for me you don't know- you dare no no <laughs> Well, I, I think that hockey has a more widespread reach because some of these states and whatever are just not going to have teams near them. I Like, I think more people are like Red Wings fans than people in Michigan. You know what I mean? Sure. Maybe not yeah. right now. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, at one point. True. <laughs> true. <laughs> but so basically the nwhl had their they had some games this weekend streaming on twitch all are streaming on twitch all the games so it's such an easy way to watch so easy and you get to watch all the comments yeah (laughs) what were what for the games that you guys watched if you watched any what what were your thoughts because i have one major thought and i'm gonna just go first go for it (laughs) i think the puck needs to have a light on it highlight so that i can see it because I'm so literally for you, not for the players. <laughs> oh no, for the viewer, not for okay. the players. You know how in football they have like <clears throat> they have like the red like or the yellow like thing like here's first down, but it's not yeah. actually on the field. I feel yes. like, yeah, I feel like there's like video games where like when you have a power play, everything lights up, and that's yeah. what you want to happen. Well, <laughs> TV just because half the time, and it's probably my own like dumb eyes, but half the time I'm like I I don't see it. Where is the puck? <laughs> okay. Like or, there were several goals where I was like, "Who? Uh, where did that come from?" It's fast. They don't know it that's does move goal. fast. I think yeah. maybe if you do you watch hockey otherwise, you know it's been mm-hmm. it's been since college. But I used to watch like the Wings, the Red Wings. Did you have that problem often. then? Probably. I feel like I'm just not. It's just it's very fast. It's for ju- it is very fast because like it's so much like. There's a lot going on and it's very small. That's how I feel basketball is very fast for me because I But you can see the ball. Going on. You can see the ball. Cuz it's big. I do I don't have trouble seeing the hockey puck, but I will support you in your light up endeavor. Maybe well, I should okay. just like try to adjust the color or something. Yeah, I mean you're also watching it on Twitch, so it's not yeah, on your computer HD or- as hack. Chrome but I also think it would be helpful if they had <clears throat> cameras that would follow it like <laughs> like someone has a little GoPro we and is yeah, swarming yeah, yeah. around the ice. A GoPro like on their legs. Just worming around. <laughs> I don't want it yeah. on their legs. I want someone to just be laying and <laughs> worming around after it. Laying. <laughs> yeah, I really do think that I'm safe. because then you see some of like the little tricks that they do too, which are fun. Mm-hmm. But yeah. It, yeah. Something I did like about it is that I think Mary Beth, this is a sport that is would appeal to you because there are two breaks 
and they're significant <laughs> chunks. Big. And you know, there's I mean, plenty of time to get snacks. And one for snacks. Exactly. You can do both. You can get a go to the bathroom and get a snack during this I have this been break. at a loss now that soccer has not had hydration ba- breaks. <laughs> you could really bake been. your own darn queso in the You're time right. that they yeah. have for period in between. Because right. they got to like of me resurface the needs. ice with the Zambone. Yeah. yeah. I do find something. I, you were saying that, that earlier yeah. that you're like pre-podcast that you, you love the Zamboni. And I will say that I do love, like, it's very calming to me to watch. Like, and if you watch it in person, yeah, do you watch it in person at all? Have you ever seen, like, been to a game that you've seen? No, I can't. I don't just go up to the ice rink. Well, next time you, like, swing by Eddie Edgar, (laughs) Michigan, (laughs) watch it. And it's, like, very, very calming the way, like, you watch, like, I don't know, the way they, like, do go back and forth and yeah. smooth it all out. It was always my favorite lovely. part as a kid, which I'm realizing I think I did go to games. Like, because I feel like Shannon, one of my um, BFFs, shout out, would have, like, tickets to, like, whether it was the Whalers or the Vip- Vipers. Vipers. The Vipers, probably. Yes, totally. Um, or whomever. We'd also, like, watch Stevenson games yeah. when I was in high school. But the Zamboni was always my because you can see the water coming out and then you see it freeze it's so it cool smooths it and it's oh. nice and slow <laughs> do you guys ever go ice skating though i have been before i'm not a I, like i can i can do it but i wouldn't say i'm like at the level of being able to play hockey without killing myself. Totally. Oh, yeah. If that yeah. <laughs> helps describe. Like, I can do it without falling. There used to be an ice rink at, at the mall when we when I lived in Iowa. And we oh, went. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh. Um, and then there have been a couple of times, like, just around here, like, in high school. But In high school, I went to a hockey game, like, that our school was in, and I got hit with a puck. Oh no! Maybe that's why you can't see him now. <laughs> it's <laughs> a little bit of damage. It's something in your brain. <laughs> Did not hit my head though. I hit my leg. Oh, oh my god! I take Wait, it back. It was painful. Past, like the yeah, glass those are. And stuff? Yeah, I don't know. Like, it, like there's like over. that netting part. You know, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And I'm like, so sorry. I feel like if you were at like a professional game, you'd get like a free hot dog. No, I didn't. <laughs> I was they warned I was like, you before. <laughs> I was like, you didn't give me anything. Yeah, uh, I've been to yeah, I've been to a few hockey games. Um, I know. I th- think I was telling you this. I know a little bit more going into hockey than I did going mm-hmm. into soccer and basketball. Like I've watched it on TV more. Yeah, I think um, specifically like back when the Red Wings were good. We used to watch yeah. so long. Um, sorry, oh, now all the Red Wings. Period. Now Detroit is, itself is mad at me. Um, I, I don't think that anyone would listen to yes, this and I disagree. Would, <laughs> I think they'd agree. <laughs> so I'm afraid of everybody. Um, but yeah, I know. I know a little bit, but I wasn't. I haven't been able to watch any full um, NWHL games yet. But I do plan to. I know there's some more tonight, uh, right? Is it tonight? Um, I don't it's either know. tonight I'll or tomorrow. tomorrow. Oh, it said that there were ones. It's not on our calendar, but it did say that oh. there was going to be another one on the 26th, which is today. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I missed um, that. I will say that I did watch um, the Boston Pride, Pride Katie Pride. said. Pride? That's what I thought. And then I was <laughs> like, according is to it Katie. Just- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I just mixing up my leads? But. <laughs> Um, they were great. They were very fun to watch. They are very good, it seems, which I think makes sense. Yeah, he's good. Um, but they She's have good. uh on their team the the Jillian Dempsey. Dempsey, thank you. Dempsey is her oh name. Side note: Every time I try to scroll on her group chat, it I. I, it's not technology you don't get worked up about technology oh, yes. <laughs> look worried about you it's not yeah it doesn't take a lot for me <laughs> 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 jillian dempsey is on boston pride and she's she was very impressive she scored like two goals or whatever and then also they were talking about how she's a teacher and she's been in the bubble she's been teaching her zoom classes she's a teacher for a fifth grade class or like school in um somewhere in the boston area 
That's crazy yeah. to me. Yeah, it is totally. wild. I think uh, she's also been playing in the league every year, all six years that the league's totally. been around. Um, yeah. But can you imagine if you were a fifth grade girl or boy, but I'm a girl. So can you imagine if you were a fifth grader and your teacher was a, like a professional hockey player? Professional, yeah. Yeah. That's I think crazy. like also once the, the league starts like building, because there is like, let's get into the 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 trouble with the nwhl as yes. well which revolves around this where like p- obviously people are not paid well enough and they don't get health insurance so they have to work full-time jobs so um she's a teacher there's someone that they were talking about that is like a full-time waitress at ihop to be able to afford to then also play hockey yeah. um so yeah they 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 need to grow the league and and make it more sustainable i guess which led to the creation of <laughs> um the professional women's hockey players association that's what it stands for pwhpa i think mm-hmm. um who they created that after the canadian league folded because they would just want like a sustainable league for north america and where people can get paid and can get insurance and can actually play professionally and be treated like professional yeah. to my being able to figure it out there's not a lot about this out there but to my understanding it reminds me a lot of the u.s women's national team soccer team in the early days where they they had the same problem they had to work like other jobs and some some players had to stop playing because they couldn't afford with like what little they were paid and i i think you know that 25 years later more even more it just like look how successful um that that team is and women's soccer in this country so why don't why like why don't we just bite and by we i mean rich people just (laughs) bite the bullet right now and invest in women's hockey so that yeah yeah it can be so much more successful like take way less time to get there Cause we're at like the weird part where like that nobody knows really that there's a league, so they don't have any marketing and nobody's watching. So they're not making any money. So they're not putting any money into it, but then like, you can't play your best when you're not supported in your sport. So, um, but how, I mean, I wonder yeah. how much like goes into this, like 20,000 people were had viewed or were viewing probably had viewed the, um, game on Twitch that I was watching. Yeah. Which that seems like a lot to me, but maybe for streaming, it's like yeah. not that. Much. But I mean, that's Twitch. Like, if, if it was on like NBC or ESPN, yeah, like but people just right, yeah, yeah, and that's like people seeking it out, you know. And you're right, yeah, yeah, you're totally right. So it could just, I don't know. There's just a, limitless <clears throat> potential. I wish that I had any sort of money that I could <laughs> invest in <laughs> in it. But ways that we can help are getting those Twitch views. I mean, it can't hurt. And just like supporting, supporting whatever this league is. So here, here's my question is like, Mary Beth, you brought up the question of like, is this even a good league to support then if they're not supporting their players? Right. But I think that kind of like plays into, well, whatever, whatever we we should. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, it's like, I don't know that it's me necessarily like supporting the league. It's more supporting those yeah. players. Right. And I think that's always something that we can, you know. Yeah. Support the players, talk about it and let people know it's happening. And then also spread the word about the PWHPA and what they're doing and what their mission is. Uh, Cause they, they play too. Um, to my understanding, they do like more exhibition games though. And they like kind of play teams in the areas where they are. I don't know if that's entirely correct, um, but that's what the internet could kind of imply to me. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know fully, um, but yeah, like spreading the word about them too and why they're created is instantly going to make people want to then pay attention to a league, I think. And that probably has boosted the visibility of the NWHL right there. So I think the point is whatever league is going to be created, just make it sustainable and make them able to earn the living that they need to be earning to be able to play at a time. Yeah. 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 Especially because like in North America, I feel like Canada and the U S like are consistently the top two winners of like, 
<laughs> the Olympics and like any other international tournaments, they're always winning. So like, why don't they have a professional league that yeah. is worth anything? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a thinker. It, it is. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think it's the bottom line is that they need some, they need invest people to invest in them and they need people who have money that are willing to put a lot in because they're will they will get a return on their investment, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be next year. Right. You know, it's a long-term thing. And I think a lot of times when you're trying to, to launch a league, like the, the WUSA, which was the soccer league that came before the NWSL, they folded because they ran out of money or they, they didn't realize that it would be so long. You know, you have to invest a lot yeah. to yep. Yep. get it to be successful. So, and I think yeah, like I don't part, know. partly what we've sort of learned in all of these leagues is that there's just more risk taken on men's leagues than there is yeah. on women's leagues. Yeah. And okay. Yes. Like, men's sports has been around longer but i don't think that's an excuse i think we're seeing the demand for women's sports we're seeing these so you know specific examples of like oh i mean people are excited to see women's hockey uh, being televised at all and that's true of like all of these sports that there there will be demand people enjoy watching it i i the the like media or whoever it is like trying to make the case of like it's not as watchable or something or I'm mean, not that anyone said that but in any way making that case is just simply like it's like false it's stupid <laughs> yeah I feel like you hear that a lot a lot about the WNBA about how it's not profitable about how like these women like aren't as much yeah, aren't as good of athletes as the men in the N, uh the MNBA but <laughs> um <laughs> but the MNBA was not financially successful for the first 30 40 years of its existence it was mm -hmm. losing it was like hemorrhaging money but people propped it up and exactly. and now it's incredibly successful like why why do why do they get 40 years of uh you know bleeding money and mm -hmm. the WNBA just hit 25 years and I don't know. I, I don't know yeah, where it is financially, but it's like make those comparisons. And it's yeah. Also, yeah. It's like a, it's watching like a whole different style of basketball between the two, because like, just because women can't like dunk or like, they're not as, as physically powerful. That just means they have to play differently. So they have to yeah. be more creative. Um, and they have to be like super, super good technically I feel. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're just watching like a different style of basketball. It's not any better yeah. or worse. I feel. Well, I think um, it is better, but because <laughs> Katie is a feminist. <laughs> yeah, don't People say are that. People obsessed with like dunks and shit, though. Yeah, I mean dunking is cool, I, but it's not also like not the only thing that's cool. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, and yeah. Uh, maybe what we can do and what we've been trying to do is show people that there's like you don't need the you don't need the constant dunks or like <laughs> Michael right. Jordan documentaries to like have fun watching these leagues. Ooh, but the, um, Shanae Agwumike is executive producing a documentary about the WNBA. The Wubbles. Season, the Wubbles specifically. So. I am well, obsessed. Oh my God, I did not know. I cannot wait. They have not announced a date. And as soon as they do, I'm setting 18 alarms. I'm well, making popcorn. <laughs> But wait, this is also Rumor very closet. cool. I didn't know this. And yeah. I think like maybe that is something that like you, I could have cared less about, I don't know. I'm going to be honest, Ariana Grande. I loved, How I, loved dare you. I loved, I love her. I watched that. I watched the that. The shots um, have been fired. I really, I really do care about her. <laughs> that was, it was like a, this is, this is what I should say besides making an example out of her is like when you watch a documentary about something or someone or whatever how invested do you get i mean i could even yeah. said michael jordan yeah <laughs> i should yeah. have said michael jordan i think and it, i do it, also love michael jordan yeah hashtag space jam because of space jam. <laughs> literally because of space jam. Uh, because yeah. of his acting not even because of the basketball right no i agree <laughs>
Maybe. I like him because yeah, of the baseball definitely. and Space Jam, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that part specifically. But he is like, I mean, he's he is uh, yeah. he is otherworldly for sure. Yeah. I don't want to like diminish that. But so is our he's other. out of out of this space, out of this earth, <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Need to make that the adjective. <laughs> oh, oh well. Oh uh, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I do think that yeah. that'll be good for the league. But also, I think that like that like people just need to to watch and see that like being being someone that has never watched basketball before, it's no different. <laughs> <laughs> I have just no as clue, good. But like, there's no way it's. Not- I don't watch the other thing that I'm comparing it to, but it's just as good. <laughs> I, I actually last week watched a couple of like NCAA basketball games because yeah. Yeah. Um, finally there was some on like like ESPN two and I, yeah. I forget the other one Fox FS one I don't know it was just so nice to see basketball again and it was love nice it. yeah I, I guess I like forgot how much I loved it because you know with the U.S. Women's National Team playing some games again I was like fully back into soccer. But something about basketball, baby. Mm-hmm. It's, and it was cool to be like, some of these players are going to be in the WNBA one day. You're going to know them. Yeah. And I am <laughs> watching them. them. That's cool. Them I knew when. you went. I knew you went. I did watch yeah. a, I did watch an Iowa game. Uh, and they have a, a player that named Caitlin Clark, who's a freshman that everyone like is crazy over. And I got to say that game, maybe not her game, but everyone else played really well she didn't yeah. even play poorly she just like i think she has in my opinion the attitude of a freshman that's really good where like <laughs> if you miss you start acting as though like other people did it but like oh you did it you know like oh like th- what do you mean that didn't go in like <laughs> that kind of but like girl you <laughs> threw that ball <laughs> well if we're gonna talk about alma maters um naz hillman at Michigan had a freaking amazing game. She scored 50 points. I did see that. Set a school record and had 16 rebounds in the game against Ohio State. And Holy shit. When was I'm that? I'm not going to talk Didn't about the results week. of the game as they are sad, but she <laughs> went off and it was yeah as i didn't have i don't have a a big 10 network or whatever, so I was just like re- furiously refreshing Twitter. Uh-huh. But yeah. It's wild to score 50 points in a game and then your team doesn't win. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you're when yeah. you're like carrying right, a but team I guess on your back, yeah. I guess if I you guess, score like, like only 50 points. Well, I think they got how much they did It was very that close. Much. It was like maybe I think they got like 75. Points. Yeah. But yeah. It was a very uh, close game. Yeah. Damn. But do we want to talk about the US Women's National Team? Let's let's do it. Let's talk about some well, magic happened. Yeah. Let's keep let's keep moving after our 20 minute Gilmore Girls. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets. No um, regrets. So the US women's national team is was back. Um again they had two friendlies against Colombia last week. And wow, the oh debut, the long awaited debut of Katarina Macario. Wow. If you're yeah. watching, if you are watching us on YouTube, which I don't think anyone does, but this is her. <laughs> There. Also, I've mirrored, I've unmirrored my thing, so I have no, I. You're correct. In, you're good. Yes. Yeah, you're good. That's correct. <laughs> you got her. You got her. <laughs> oh, I hate it. Uh, uh, yeah, she's everything she's cracked up to be. Yeah, she she's uh, a little bit of her backstory. She was born in Brazil. She moved to the U.S. I think when she was twelve. Um, I think specifically because she wanted to play for the u.s women's national team her mom stayed in um brazil she's a she was a doctor so she stayed and worked and like supported her family um and she played for stanford she got her citizenship citizenship in the fall and was just um like a week maybe a week or a couple days before the games like during the camp right yeah she got her fifa eligibility approved and she was magical she, yeah, she's everything that she like met exceeded expectations. Just watching her on the ball, I'm like, she's 21, and some of the like things that she did, like, we're not even just like what she can do on the ball, like, but where she found like what position she put herself mm-hmm. on the field and how she, yeah, how she passed and like finding space. And it was just like, wow, this is like a 
that was a, I, I got like chills watching her. I was like, <clears throat> we are watching like like I wonder if like that's what people thought the first time they saw like Mia Hamm play or so. Mm-hmm. I'm, I don't know. I'm just thinking of a legend of a U.S. legend. Like, is that what people felt like when they watched her for the first time? Because it was so cool. I'm like, yeah. wow. She is good. She's great. I like, mean, she's good. A great point is like sometimes it's like how how does someone stand out or like how do you know when someone when like everybody's talking about someone but people like katarina macario i feel like you watch her once and then you get it i think that was in some article i saw too or or something that they were like um they, they were saying like she was like made to play soccer and sometimes it's like what does that mean but then you watch and it's like okay no there's no other way to put it except for that she's just like oh yeah it's also interesting to think that had she stayed in brazil um she could have she would have been on a national team with marta and dabinia yeah wait so why does (laughs) she want to be it for us just because they they're the best i I don't i'm not sure i don't i'm not sure i mean I, i don't know yeah maybe but isn't it crazy to think that like I don't know. Brazil yeah, has I mean, like, so many something with that team. crazy, <laughs> talented it's players. It's already a good team, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, on top of that, all of the rest of them played extremely well. Yeah. Also, like, that was a very dominant two games. I yeah, think. Sam Mewis got a, a hat trick in the yeah. first game, and first Christy game. Mew- Did she score again? Yeah, yeah that was 4-0. Four, four to zero. Yeah three from Sam, one from Christy. Yeah, and then in the second game, Katarina Macario's first start, she scored within like 4 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> she like, scored. Oh Who else scored Amazing. for the first time? Mitch Purse. Mitch Purse. Mitch Purse. She scored. Okay, we do and? need to talk for Oh, go ahead. Lynn I don't know what you're going to say, so I'm going to Lynn Williams. Lynn Williams did score, oh, but I scored, think she yeah. has scored before. But yeah, we have been awesome. waiting we have been rooting for it's her because a, we dropped. She's had yeah. She's yeah, had a little she, drought, and we were very happy to see yeah, yeah, yeah. her yeah. do on it. And um, Midge Purse, both Midge Purse and Crystal Dunn played as forwards. Yeah, which is their like preferred position. That. Which was I was you know um, I was so happy, and they were great. Yeah, and this was sort of like a, you know, crowd went wild, sort of like, oh my gosh, it's happening because this has been like a talked about thing for for a while now both of them playing at like outside back positions or whatever when like their preferred position and their um you know allegedly best position is in a more attacking either forward or attacking mid or you know whatever it is but you know for the u.s team they are they have a lot of like strong attackers and so they put these like versatile players um, at outside back which you know that's a style of play I think that like a lot of coaches are doing and it sounded like Jill Ellis was like really kind of championed that for this team where like no like you know your outside backs it's important for them to like be able to to attack and to like have that kind of um lineup and that strength at, at those positions but I think there's a lot of controversy with it too well it's just odd that it just so happens that like the two players that were like gonna make do this in the recent years are black mm-hmm. exactly like, i don't know it just that like in and of itself is kind of like it makes me feel icky <laughs> like for lack of a better right. descriptor like, why is that yeah say? yeah yeah totally and and part of the problem with it is and katie you can you can speak on this because you you also sent that article, which we'll talk about. Um, but part of the part of the problem with having to play one position on your club team and one position on your, um, uh, I'll talk personally because this happened to me throughout my uh, career. I actually liked it, but I didn't play professional soccer. But playing one position on your club team and one position for you know like uh, for for them, it's the, the national, national team, or yeah. Julia's time on the national team. You can't, yeah. <laughs> 2001 to 2002. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, you can't. It, it's it's so much harder to develop at each of those positions, and it's mentally draining. It's it's physically draining because it's different styles of like play or whatever. You have to like be a a highly competent national athlete at um two different positions and i think crystal dunn the way she put it is like um or maybe it was the the author of that article is that like it's making like an in american football like a running back play a quarterback position or something like that it's just like unheard of you just don't do that yeah especially someone specifically (laughs) someone of crystal dunn's uh talent at at you know at a four at the role of four like in 2015 crystal dunn did not make the world cup roster which is baffling but then she you know she played the nwsl season and she was the leading scorer in the nwsl that season so you take the leading score it just it just it's kind of it's Mm -hmm. mind-boggling and and for the courage she played an attacking midfield role uh, which is, you know, like go score basically. It just someone as prolific a scorer as her to then be converted to an outside back on the national team and 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 be the best at that role because she is she started you know she starts from that position. Like so, it's you're ridiculous. Flacco, where do you put it? Part, part, this is partly my thing though too because. One of the one of the difficult things is you don't develop an identity on that team. I feel like when you are moving around or moving around, even in, um, especially inside of one team, you don't really you don't really um, people start thinking of you as a utility player, and then it's like, well, I mean, you know, you're gonna do the job, but it's also like, where's my security? Where's my where do I develop? How do I spend mm-hmm. my energy or whatever? And it's hard to like solidify your your role. Yeah. But also, and and I fully believe that those two that those two, especially Crystal Dunn, should have an she should play wherever the frig she wants. But yeah. where who do you replace or whatever? Where do you if you're Vladko? Well, I think if you're Vladko, you have an I, I I don't know, but I think you have a conversation with Crystal and you say, Where do you want to play? And if she says I will want to play like forward. Then you say, okay, you're in this pool and you're going to be judged against the other forwards and we're going to pick the best one, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Um, But I also think that going into the Olympics with a, there's only 18 on the roster versus 23 for the world cup. They need play. They need players like crystal Dunn who can play multiple positions because there could be injury there could be you know it's just a smaller group that you're bringing so mm-hmm. in that way you know yeah you can't she's never not going to, not to have yeah her. exactly and but so if you're gonna have her play a position for 90 minutes where she's gonna make an impact on the field and you already have incredible forwards yeah yeah, I don't I'm know. I'm putting her at outside back. I, I understand the issue. Yeah. And I think we can get into a little bit more of what that article was saying, like what she was like um, positing for herself, which right. I think is super important. But I think that it sucks, but I also am of the mind of like, put well, her where she's at this be point, at this point in 2021, she is the best yeah. uh, outside back that they have on that, yeah. you know? So yeah, you play her there. Uh, yeah, I think this is definitely more of a conversation of like, you know, when they initially, when Jill Ellis yeah, wanted to it. convert her to an outside got back. It, it's it, like, got why? Got it. But, yeah. and, and for every, anyone that wants to read the article, it's on um, Forbes.com. It's called What's Soccer Pro Crystal Dunn's Next Chapter? Fighting for the Recognition She Deserves by Alana Glass. Yeah. Um, and you get, it's like an interview. So you'll get Crystal Dunn's perspective on it as well yeah yeah but in the article she does talk about how um you know she could be the face of soccer in this country and should be and should be she's not and yeah i think yeah i think we all agree that she should be 
Um, we all agree she <laughs> deserves to to be recognized yeah. and to have these giant sponsorships. Yes. Yeah. Like, 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 why was she not in a... commercials? Right. And, and stuff. Or even just like, why wasn't she in part of the conversation for like FIFA's best uh, player mm-hmm. last year or any other year? Totally. The answer is I don't know. But that, but, yeah. I mean, that list is jacked d- anyway. Is I don't forward. think totally. those lists like yeah. make any darn sense. No. But that's part of the problem is like, why is, why tell us anybody why Crystal Dunn would not be like, I think everybody is in agreement with how good she is, but why is she not being put on this pedestal that she deserves to be on? Literally the thing that's so frustrating to me as just like a fan and a viewer, I can't even imagine how frustrated she is, but you could put her anywhere on the field in any position. I would argue even goalkeeper i could see her <laughs> rising to the occasion i do believe that she could play any position and be a world-class like world-class level at any position no other player can do that so give her her fucking flowers give her a million fucking dollars in endorsement deals Give her a fucking Nike sponsorship. Like, give her all the money in the world. And also something I find very endearing about Crystal Dunn is that she raises chickens in her backyard. And I think that's so funny. My neighbors oh, on the street also do it. Yeah, she like posts them on Instagram all the time. Oh my yeah. God, I love that. I love when people raise chickens in their backyard. <laughs> yeah. One thing I also love about her is that whenever she's like celebrating with a teammate about like a goal, she will like leap into their arms and it's just <laughs> it's awesome but yeah um, so that's my little um crystal dunn's amazing spiel yeah well and we should so. also shout out the um uh wait i feel like i've pronounced this word wrong my whole life but the diaspora united diaspora oh, yeah you're okay, right that's right why did i think that they said it wrong or i mean that they they said it differently anyway <laughs> that was like a they didn't say it wrong <laughs> yeah yeah no <laughs> if anyone would have said it wrong it would be me but the, it was a um it's a newish podcast right uh, yeah i Carlisle. think just two episodes um yeah and they kind of center um black women in the conversation of women's soccer yeah which um yeah right now like honestly that second friendly was a was a huge day for i would say katarina macario obviously um lynn williams and 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 crystal dunn Mm -hmm. all had incredible games and it was like very cool to think about like alana cook alana played the whole 90 minutes center back Mm -hmm. yeah it was just a big game for i think the future of of u.s soccer and I think a lot of the future is like these amazing black women. Um, yeah. So I, I would totally recommend that podcast. The first episode talks a lot about um, kind of like kneeling and conversations around kneeling. And then the second episode talks about um, that, that game where Katarina scored her first goal and Midge and Crystal were yeah. attacking. So yeah, <laughs> totally. It was exciting. And also, though, it was a big day for the teens of Columbia, of the Columbia national team to throw themselves to the ground. Oh, my <laughs> oh <God>. that, yeah. <laughs> they were really going for it. My favorite being the one that someone tackled Lindsay Horan, who was laying on the ground for a good, like, five seconds before this player from Columbia then threw herself to the ground at her feet and started to like act as though she was hurt I really loved it I really loved yeah, the it was that was yeah it was very theatrical <laughs> I I did like watching did feel bad for them because yeah. I, you know they don't get the same like support from their federation yeah. so they're not like 90 minutes fit ready to go yeah, and can right. you imagine just being relentlessly like <laughs> like dog just trying by to the like whole do anything to have a break yeah <laughs> like exactly do who like what what is her what is her name again Sepul- Sepulveda. Sepulveda. Yeah. yeah she's insane like the way that she kept the, the scores to what they were 
Yeah, she was, was great. fantastic. Uh, and but I she would her sometimes on Twitter. Eat good. <laughs> oh, I saw that. <laughs> Glad you told yeah, her. Yeah, because she posted this like video of herself. Did she make that by the way? <laughs> I don't know, but so I'm funny. I hope she it. did. It was like this video, this like highlight reel of her just like with her incredible saves over the last two games. And I mean, it, these games legit could have been 12, 13, nothing if not for her. Right. But there was this highlight reel of her like making all these saves or whatever. And then the caption of it was like, um, nemesis. A nemesis is someone who makes it really <laughs> difficult for you to. Um, <laughs> get what you find, want. Get or what something. you want. Or something. I love that. It's like I don't know if that's the definition, but also you deserve anything that you <laughs> post right now. <laughs> yeah, she did. I'd be curious to see if if like a, I know there are a couple NWSL teams that are kind of low on goalies. I wonder if any of our, are going to be interested in like getting her a contract because that was on my on the NWSL crazy. Facebook page. Which I'm Thank loving, by it. the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't post anything in there, but I do look at everyone lurk. who knows what's going on. They were like, um, hey, OL Rain, maybe they can <laughs> sign. Yeah. Her. They should. Like, the, the score should have been. At least double that. In each game. Yes. And she made some incredible saves. And yeah. then deserves like a full paid vacation to somewhere to recover from the yeah. amount of time she threw her she had to like throw her body to yeah and look i i know we're going long but i'm just thinking about like the times where first of all carly lloyd and megan rapino are back and we don't have to spend too much time talking about them but they both looked really good they're good oh boy hate to say it carl but she did look good <laughs> that but like yeah we were talking about this that rest that they have had for yeah. like that ha they have to feel better than they have in years that's what Meg rapino said yeah. in like a in like the <clears throat> press conference after she was like this is the most rest i've ever gotten in the last 10 years and i feel Her whole career. great yeah. Yeah. yeah which is you know good for them but also fortunately right now they don't have like games every other day or whatever right. right but i'm thinking about the times where like carly lloyd is just truly a fearless player and like is looking strong as ever and i'm thinking about the times where sepulveda just came out and like you know carly goes goes full on no matter who is in her way and sepulveda just like going up matching you know, her toe -to -toe yeah with her yeah denying Which, her goalie, multiple like, times how, yeah. yes as a goalie how scary that is especially scary. someone as like <laughs> someone like carly yeah yeah truly i was secretly happy she didn't score because she's been pissing me off so <laughs> dude she seriously is and she's just i always really don't have to get into stuff but like i don't know if, if i don't want to get into it because just i feel like i okay. don't have like the, the bandwidth right now yeah or or even just like Nobody want, needs to hear this from me. I think it's probably better to listen to that episode of Diaspora United. So let's say for anyone who who didn't see, there, there's just like a, st a like standing versus kneeling bullshit that's going on in in um that uh, U.S. Women's National Team right now, and we encourage you to one listen to go listen to the the black players on the team who have talked about this before and um are currently talking about it also listen to that diaspora united podcast um where they you know uh, can we'll say this better than we could ever dream of yeah i think my my just to put it like so people understand my issue with her is not that she chose to stand it's more that like, if you're going to stand, what are you actually doing? Like, what are concrete things you're doing to support your teammates or to, you know, be anti-racist or whatever? Yeah. And then in the, the co press conference after the game, she, she said some comment like, oh, yeah, I've just been in the woods, like, rehabbing. So I haven't been really paying attention to what's been going on. Well, congratulations. Okay. I'm yeah. really glad that you have the privilege to divorce yourself from the violence that's been going on against black people but that baffled me yeah i was just, just like everyone and yeah oh my god 
we've we've talked about how i i don't i don't love how how they like use when people ask them questions about like why they're standing they use that as an opportunity to try to like prove themselves to not be racist when exactly. they should instead use it as an opportunity to like point back at the protest and what it's about a perfect and focus people on the actual matter at hand a like i think that we're yeah we're so distracted from like the point of it to begin with that i think that if anyone asks you like it's now because you stood your duty to be five times louder about <laughs> Thank you. Why yeah. people are kneeling. Thank you. And yeah. direct them back towards the actual message, which is there is Thank police you. brutality in the United States against Black people, and th they would like to draw attention and fix it. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I mean, Allie Krieger was asked a similar question in one of those press conferences, and I thought she had like a much better answer. I mean, it's not nothing's perfect, but she did say, you know, like, for as much as you may think that the flag is important and like should be honored or respected, no piece of fabric matters more than human beings' <laughs> lives. <laughs> so, right. um, who have made yeah. it clear what they would like out of you? Right. And, and I, I don't, don't think, think it's just anyone... about, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead sorry. sorry. No, sure. I just, I don't think it's just about like, because I know they've You're said right. kind of ad nauseum, like it's not you know, we've talked as a team and we, so everybody supports each other. Well, I don't think it's just about supporting your teammates. I think you have a responsibility to the people that you represent, your fans, like you, you know, to, I don't know, like give a shit about them. Right. Yeah. I think it's, 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 there's a platform that you have, whether you want it or not. Um, like, I understand being a private person, like I'm an incredibly private person, but if I'm a professional athlete on a team that everybody is watching and I am choosing to do something that looks controversial, I need to make my point clear that I do not believe that the flag yeah. is more important than black lives because I, and I don't think anyone actually thinks that. I think they just don't know right. and I will how say to that go about mm -hmm. Yeah. saying the right the message in the right way exactly and i will just say that of the athletes that stood none of them have like shown on in any way that they are like doing work or supporting in any way you know exactly the only thing like i've seen like kelly hara <clears throat> post like a bunch of shit on instagram about like heineken and like Mm -hmm. ads and stuff and it's like okay like get your <clears throat> money but also like what are you doing yeah yeah the excuse of like well this really is just the bare minimum and it's like w you know we we all have different ways that we're that we're doing this and this just isn't the way that right. i'm choosing to do it and it's like you have um, to you say know, the way you're for, choosing for a to while. do it yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been going on for a while and it's like well you know okay then what are you need to Tell find us. out what you're doing then yeah and like and it's not even like i i just think they they are, are not gathering what they can be doing with their platform and that they need to like i don't know yeah. i get frustrated you know i get frustrated <laughs> yeah it's it, i do it is i i do feel like yes at this point like kneeling it doesn't mean what it meant in 2016 right. it mm -hmm. is yes it's, and performative in a lot of ways it is but like if you can't even do that exactly like, there the like the risk that it once had no longer exists and if you're yeah. not willing to like like if you can't have a conversation with your grandpa who like served in the military and be like, this is why I need to do this. Thank you. Like what anti-racist work or like what conversations can you have? Yeah. I just, mm -hmm. I think that like, it, like even if you choose to stand, which like, I'm not even like so angry at them that they like have are patriotic in that way, because I don't understand their lives yeah. or where they've, they're coming from or who has said what to them. But I think that they need to say what they're doing if that's not what they're, they can still be part of the protest is basically my thought just in yeah. a different way and they need to be loud about it. But yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Cause if we could point to like 
actual tangible things that those players were doing, it would be a different conversation. Yes. Yeah. But I yeah. can't any of them. I can't. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Go listen to other people talk about this too that know yeah. more about it than us. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I fully agree that we shouldn't be the ones you listen to to like talk on this issue. But I also think that like anyone has a platform and if I'm not yeah, also yeah. not saying yeah having this conversation however brief it is and saying you should go so then i feel like i'm not using your I... platform that yeah. we're telling them to use yeah i mean and yeah and also it's the bare minimum again but yeah 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 anyway <laughs> on that note though um <laughs> yeah um uh. <laughs> yeah no really on that note we're gonna leave you and <laughs> we're gonna be glad oh wait to- really quick i want to talk about i do want to talk really quickly just on how bizarre it is that all of those tennis players are trapped in their hotels oh right now. shit that's right yeah <laughs> can we can we close on that yeah, yeah. The, you believe this. yeah the i've been following this for for maybe like a, a week or so though the women's tennis association prior to the australian open that is coming up i don't know the exact details i've just seen like people posting on social media, they were exposed to COVID on their chartered flights over to Australia. And because Australia's laws are so harsh as they should as to quarantining, um, they all have to quarantine in their hotel rooms for two straight weeks and they can't leave their rooms, which is not conducive to training for the Australian Open. (laughs) (laughs) But yeah, it's like 72 players. um, And then I read an article I read said, yeah. yeah, an article I read said 970 staff and players total, uh, with nine having gotten it. But wow. 970 people um, in quarantine for two weeks in their hotel rooms. And so they're all like training by like hitting their tennis balls against the windows or like lifting up their beds so, so that they can then like lift weights in that space. Um, imagine if you were in the hotel room next to somebody that was training for a tennis or below someone I mean, training yeah. for a you, giant they're tennis. They're lifting up the bed to as their workout. No, they're... the one I saw was they're moving it out of the way. And then... I saw somebody like surfing on their bed though, like oh. like standing on the bed and like moving it along, like <laughs> just like yeah. having a good day. So well, imagine if you were in a one room by yourself for two weeks. I would be like that would be hackers. <laughs> It's I'd be good. I think Netflix. I would be good for like a week, but like I'd get mad that I can't like go out and, and go through a drive through, which yeah. is my favorite <laughs> <laughs> activity. Um, but yeah, it's just so it's so nuts to me. I guess like imagine if they do have the Olympics and they have to do a big bubble and they quarantine like that, <laughs> everybody <laughs> trapped in, in their own rooms. Yeah. The content would be great, but it'd be crazy. (laughs) I just think like being an athlete where you're so active all the time, like being at that elite level and now you have to sit in a room for two weeks is like so nuts, but I'm enjoying watching it. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I read somewhere too that like even the person, people who like get bounced out the first round, like their prize money is like a hundred thousand dollars. So I could do that for two weeks. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, <laughs> I'll lift Eddie Bed for a hundred thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> I do it for a hundred dollars. Yeah. Or a thousand dollars. I would do it for ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, uh, well, my best wishes um, to them, those yeah. thousand people. I hope that they do well in their I tournament. think they're treating them okay. I, I I worked this job at Barnard um college the, these past this past week and um all those like so it's a it doesn't matter but it's a women's college and so we our my job was just to like take their food up to them so it was through catering so we're just like they're all in quarantine for two weeks they cannot leave their dorms (laughs) um so for you know we would take their meals up to them or they would order dinner and we would go like take their dinner up to them and um they're not supposed to be like talking with their going out into their like common space in the in the suite and every time we like 
how can you out. how can you tell them not to do that the, yeah. they're a pod at that point yeah and it seems like, like you should like, just be able to have out. like four people in a room yeah. and like that's what it if was. one of them gets sick they'll all get sick but you can also keep them in that room it's that's basically and, what it was <laughs> i think they probably said that just to be like yeah here's the rules here's what we said you can we can't enforce this because you're in your own room <laughs> but exactly. yeah and we aren't allowed in it <laughs> oh yeah that would be really hard that's wild anyway barnard college that's where veronica lodge is about to go on riverdale oh wow <laughs> yeah i feel like famous people have gone there well it's part of columbia but good for good for veronica good good for that fictional character i'm proud of i'm proud of her <laughs> doing great also katie loved the shirt oh thank you seattle storm champs nice nice oh gorgeous anyway we will see you guys in a couple weeks i think our plan for the most part is going to be every other monday we will release a pod yeah i'm Um, gonna try so we definitely have skipped a week here but i think we'll get ourselves back on track and um you know as always just like write in if you have any questions or any thoughts on anything (laughs) at all I don't know where you would write. We haven't. We don't know yet. <laughs> you can comment on Instagram. Oh, okay. you can email us. us. Yeah, can you guys give Twitter. the? Uh, yeah, give the um social media at she's good podcast on Twitter and at she's, she's good, good pod, pod on, Instagram. on Instagram. What's our email address? She's, she's good, good podcast, podcast at, at gmail. gmail. Yes. You can always yes. use that. You can always write to us via. Or and we'll honestly, maybe check it in once a month. <laughs> or yeah, if you're listening, you. You, probably, you. you probably personally you know, probably one know of us. You probably know us just text so, us. So, yeah, you, can all, you can also give us a little bit. Just text us. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably ask you to be a guest. Just text us. <laughs> yeah, just ask us to be a guest. Honestly. Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> ask us to be a guest on your podcast. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. She's good. This has been a production of Planet Amp Podcast, powered by Pinecast.